Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 30s Farm. I think that's what we'll call the series, right? I'm a brand new, uh, starting this out. This is our episode two. Uh, last off, we, we did all the fields. We, uh, we harvested, we planted the seeds. And now what we're going to do this episode, I believe we're going to going to head and roll and weed and then what we're going to do on top of that we are going to uh, bale the field that we harvested uh, if you like the video please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below the like button down below it helps us out a uh, very small channel you know what I mean so it helps the channel grow if you like it leave it in the comment section as well what do you like about it what could I improve and what I made it messed up on the last episode all right so we got to find a baler so I think I'm just going to pick up this one I'm not even sure if this is the one that'll that'll work, right? Um, we'll get that, and then we'll we'll pick up a bale loader. And this is another one. Uh, this one does the round bales. I'm looking for the square, I guess, bales. This one does the square bales. No, that's the round ones. That's a trailer. This one does square, and then this one. This one does it so do i pick up this one is it this one no that's the circle one anderson group no uh i guess we'll rent that one i'm not sure if this is gonna gonna work or not so we're, we're gonna have to go over there pick it up and then we'll bring it back over here um so hopefully i i, I picked up the right one because we're, we're gonna have to bail and then once we bail uh, then we'll have to, you know, load them up on the trailer. So, all right. So let's get that going. If you guys liked the last episode uh, where I harvested this field here and then also planted the seeds. And the next one, we have canola going over in the field to the right here. We have the weeder that we're going to pick up. But let's go pick up the actual... Uh, baler at the shop so so far we've done one episode I actually kind of really trying to get back into this uh, I, I'm doing a couple of episodes kind of back to back so any suggestions or comments that you guys leave in the comment section down below uh, I won't be able to make those adjustments until I do my next round of videos so I do appreciate you if you leave those comments oh my goodness we'll take that uh don't mind. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. I put the controller down for a second. <laughs> kind of slipped. I was trying to. I was trying to drink something. Pick up a. Pick up a cup. Don't. Don't. Uh, don't drink coffee and drive. All right. Here. Here's the baler and the bale loader. Let's take the baler over. Now this is a smaller baler. Um, obviously, I could have rented a bigger one, but. I wanted a smaller one just because I've never used one before. So I wanted to grab the small... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I wanted a smaller baler to use. So that's what we're uh, we're using for this, you know, trial and error. Obviously, I've, I've done the rolls in uh, 2019, the bigger rolls. I've never played with the, uh, the Massey Ferguson uh, loader here with the mini bales. The mini bales, I figured I could pick them up by the hand, right? Where you can't do that with the larger version so we'll bring this back we'll do the bailing of the actual field and get that done and then what we'll do later in this episode we're gonna have to roll we, we got the roller we were gonna do it at the end of last episode we started it but I said you know what we'll wait for this episode I want to get the the reason I'm doing the bailing first is because I want to get that field done you know what I mean like I want to get it to the same status as the other two fields. The other two fields are already have canola on them. This field has, the, you know, the barley or the uh, the wheat that we picked up, and now we're trying to get this field to be on the same same level playing field as the other two fields. So we're gonna have to pick up the bales as fast as possible, and then we're gonna have to gonna have to plant the seeds in this one as well, and then on top of that, uh, we're gonna have to weed it and roll it along the same. So that's why I didn't want to do the rolling for the other two fields because then those would be really far ahead of, of the other one. So let's get started here. These lines, I, I, I realized that I shouldn't have made these little little circular motions in the beginning. Wasn't thinking when I was actually doing the harvesting. So lesson learned there. We're going to keep this as straight as possible. 
uh, moving forward. It's not bad. This thing is picking up pretty good. And it's uh, the bales are coming out pretty good. It's filling up pretty fast. So, yeah, this this seems like a good one. And they're small. They're small, uh, you know, stretch ones. Real, real thin. So I kind of like that. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's do this. All right, that went pretty smooth. We got a little bit left over here, but not too bad. We're not gonna have enough to get these. There's two in the chamber here, right? There's one that's about to pop out, but the other one doesn't have enough to push it through. There actually might even be three in here. So that'd be interesting to see if I can get this last one out here. Um, I don't think it's gonna have, we're not gonna have enough. So how do I get the excess out of this this baler can I can I unload it mm, I don't know if I can I guess we'll just park it here and yeah so we have all these bales let me see if I can pick these up we can pick these up yeah is it there we go yeah we can move them over to the side real fast so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna grab these and move them off to the side this is going to take a little bit of time consuming, but you know what? You know, each time you do something just like in, in real life, uh, you, you learn your lesson, what's what's good and what's bad. I'm just going to kind of throw these over here. Maybe we'll just stack them. Nah, just just toss it over. You know, I, I don't know if I want to. I don't know. Should I stack them? Should I put them next to each other? I think I'm just going to pick them up and just kind of put them up, place them over here. Get them off the off the field so we can get onto this field and then get this one even with the rest of them so we can start rolling and weeding all of this, planting the seeds on this one. So yeah, there's there's a lot of ba bales on this on this ground here. So this is gonna take a little longer than I anticipated. No, come on. Let, let go, let go of the bale. There we go. Uh, then we have this other one off here to the side. Maybe I'll make a couple different piles. I don't want to keep running back and forth to this, just this one pile. So maybe what we'll do is we'll leave this here uh, and then we'll grab the other ones and make a, yeah, there's a lot of them. A good 15, 15 of them over there. So yeah, I think we'll we'll take this one and we'll, we'll move it over. Maybe I'll make another pile over there. Come on, come on. You know, you want to grab it. You, you know, am I, am I too far? All right, how many do we have over there? Yeah, where I don't know where to, where to sell these. Yeah, if I pick this one up, bring that back over there. Or, you know what we could do? Yeah, we can go grab... Let's go grab the the actual baler, the, the, the bale loader. Maybe that'll, that'll work out. And on top of that, maybe we'll pick up a different trailer that we can, like, load them into. Right, so we have the baler, or not the baler, but the bale loader. But maybe I want to pick up this flatbed trailer or even this other trailer so we can like store them in because I'm not going to sell them right away. And I don't really know where the selling point is as of right now. We'll kind of look into that in a bit. Maybe I'll pick up this one instead. Now, I know we picked up the other one, 
but I'm not sure which one's going to work. So let's pick them both. And then that way, yeah, the other one's the wrong one for sure. Where do I buy? Where, where's that one I had? No. There it is. Yeah, so let's get rid of this one. We have two bale loaders. We have a baler and then we have the weeder. We have two bale loaders. One, one is definitely not the right one, which this one is not the right one. So we'll get rid of that. Let's go pick up the other one because this one does the square uh, bales. Now the question is, will this one pick up the smaller bales? That is the, is it, what was that, what was that show called? The $10,000 $10, pyramid, is that what it was? Where that's, that's the question. Is this going to work? I know some of you right now in the chat uh, or in the comment section are going to be like, no, no, this doesn't work. And then the other one's going to be like, yeah, yeah, it might work. It might work. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see if this, uh, if it picks up. If it doesn't work, then we're going to have to go to plan B. The problem is that we're going to have to drive back and forth uh, through this. And this is a little, little pain, you know, driving back this long stretch here. So let's see if this uh, this one works here. Let's pick this up. I have a feeling it's gonna work because it, it did say square, but that might be the bigger ones though. Um, let's see, let's line it up. I love the little mechanical movement of the of the stick shift and reverse and, and drive, the little things like that. I wish you actually saw your character's model inside like you see his arms on the steering wheel and stuff that'd be really cool i really like going in third person and like watching them do it and steer if you guys ever played snow runners snow runners has the animations inside the cab and it actually looks it looks pretty cool the only the only jankiness of that is the the hands move too fast when you're turning into that game but i really like when you're in third person you, you see the character model inside there and then when you turn and move he like grabs the wheel um yeah Good stuff. Again, in the first episode, I talked about how squirrely the wheel was in this game. And in third person, it doesn't feel as bad. But when you're in first person, you touch that wheel just a little bit. It, like, goes back and forth really fast. And it's kind of annoying. And there's no way I can make that slower. Because uh, the settings don't go lower than I have them. All right. The moment of truth here. Is this baler or bale loader? I keep calling it a baler. Is this going to work? Now... I got to lower the operating. Yeah, okay. Put that out of transportation. And it should just work, right? To just pick them up and, and put them in. I... No, the bail is not supported. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to have to go to plan B. Plan B is sell this or return it because we're releasing it. It's a good thing we didn't purchase it because that would have been... That would have been bad. And I think we're going to have to go back. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of bales. I can either go back right now and get the, the the trailer. We can get a trailer. Or I just run around and pick these up and make a couple piles off to the sides. Huh. What What's going to be faster? What's going to be faster? I think I might just do the bailing. I think I might just run around and, and pick them up real fast. We'll make a couple different piles. We have this pile here that we could do, and we can run in these all over back, or I could just take these and kind of push them off to the side. Why won't this one get picked up? Too far away? There it goes. Yeah, to go back and forth. We'll throw this one over here, obviously. Maybe this one as well. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll move on to the take the next group and then push them over to the other side and then I'll go pick up a trailer yeah I'm just trying I'm trying to save time and I've, I've kind of already made a mistake here so we're gonna kind of have to bite the bullet we'll, we'll just make a couple of piles get this one over here this one's closer to here and then we'll take the rest of these and maybe we'll make a pile over on the other side one more one more because I have OCD I don't know that's even or odd now. Wasn't really counting. Let's put this one over here. All right, so we'll take these, these right here, and then we'll move those over here as well. 
And then what we'll do is we'll make a third pile on the other side. So we'll get as many as we can over here, and then we'll take the other ones and we'll move them up to the upper corner. Yeah, just, just I need I just need to get these off because we need to we need to prep this field. We need to prep this field to get it going. So we have like seven more bales to pick up and move. Let me know what you guys think so far of all the uh, the screw-ups we've done in a, in a small period of time here. I think it'll I think it'll work out fine. I think it'll work out fine. Well, we'll get these bales picked up. I don't even know what these are going to sell for. They're, they're small bales. We don't have any cattle or anything. I don't think this is going to pay off a lot. It's a small field, so the yield wasn't the greatest on this field to begin with. But now that we have... Now that we have this field and the two other fields it almost makes one giant field it almost makes one giant field so we got one I think we got two more is that the last one that's it all right so now now let's go back and uh, let's see if this one needs the weeder. The other one needs the weeder. So why don't we why don't we do that? Why don't we start rolling these two fields and then we'll work on the one I just, just emptied off. So I'll see you after this uh, this time lapse here. All right, so we did the two fields. We rolled them and weeded them. And now we have to deal with this one. Now, I need to, one, cultivate this field. So we're gonna cultivate this field. And then on top of that, we have to then roll it. Or actually we have to cultivate it. We have to seed it. We have to weed it and we have to roll it. So we have to do all those things. So lots to do this field to get this up to the same as the other two fields. So this uh, this is, uh, we'll call this field one. Two is the one out in front of me. Three's out in the back over here behind this, the silo. So I think I think this is gonna be good. I think all of them, I mean, this one's gonna be a little bit behind as far as the time scale goes. But overall, uh, if we get this one going at the same, you know, get this one done as soon as possible, um, 
we'll, we'll have to work into the night here. The sun's going down pretty fast. It's 17 o'clock right now. Those of you that don't know what that is, it's 508. Uh, 508 uh, in, in, a, in a regular uh, Eastern time zone where I'm at. But uh, yeah, so we'll have, to, we'll have to cultivate this field. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have to speed up the process and get the other, other other things going. So I think what we'll do is we'll we'll cultivate this, then we'll seed it, and uh, we'll we'll do a little time lapse uh, for that. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think I'm making a wrong call here about putting the canola? I mean, I I know that's what it says on the on the on the calendar. I should do, but I don't think I've ever done canola. I don't even know if I have the right gear for canola. I don't even know what that's going to what, what that's going to do. I guess I could just sell it. I guess what I should say is, one, what should I plant after this to get this going? Because once this is grown, we're gonna we're gonna harvest the canola, and then we're gonna plant our next next thing, right? Um, I haven't looked at what the next month is. We're in August right now, so I don't know when the next uh, what what the next season should be for what to plant, obviously. Uh, so let me know in the comments section what do you think I should plant after this canola because it, it's too late now, right? We have the two fields of canola. Uh, we're going to have a third field of canola. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't even looked at the prices or anything like that. We're just kind of just starting out. And I'm like, I'm just, I just want to get this planted and then kind of start a plan. I think our long-term goal here is to start buying out all the other little farms around us to to make our little enterprise a little bigger here. So, yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to time lapse the rest of this for everything that we have to do the seeding, the rolling, and also the weeding.
All right, so we've done the seeding, the, the, the cultivating. All we need to do left is the weeding for this field. Um, yeah, I think that went pretty smooth. I had a little bit of little bumps here and there, missing a couple rocks that I missed. The sun's going down. We still need to weed. I think I might wait for the next day to do this. I don't know if we'll have time to, to weed it right now. I think what we'll do is we'll... We'll, we'll get it set up. We'll get it set up, and then what we'll do is we'll wait until the next day. Um, but what we could do while we wait for this, um, I think what we'll do is we'll buy a trailer. We'll pick up a trailer, and that way we'll weed for the next episode, and we'll also uh, pick up all the bales of hay that we have, and we'll put those in a trailer. Um, I don't know if there's a loading trailer that does it automatically, I don't know if there is. If there is a trailer that does it automatically, that'd be great to know. Um, if not, maybe it's a mod that I have to like download. So in the comments section down below, let me know what I should be looking for for automatic loading trailer, because that saves a bunch of time, um, especially like because I'm new and I'm getting back into this game. Obviously, the more I get situated i would like to maybe do the work ourselves for actual content but right now it'll be a lot easier because it it would be like you know just i'll be discombobulated trying to get stuff in so i think we'll, what we'll go is we'll, we'll go with this trailer right here um this, this green one here and i don't think it loads itself but it's gonna hold right it, it should hold the the square ones it should hold anything but I, it's it's big enough where I can just dump it in. I can even pick them up by hand if it doesn't work out. So I think that might be the smartest choice uh, to do is this green trailer. Uh, so yeah, we I, I think we'll lease it, right? I don't think we should buy anything as of right now. There's a flatbed in the green one. I think this is the best one to do, right? So we'll do that. We'll lease it. Let's go pick that up. And then, uh, yeah. We'll pick it up. We'll get it prepared for the the, the next trip or the next uh, the next show. So I appreciate you. If you like this, please make sure you share, like, subscribe. Leave in the comment section what I messed up on, whatnot. Uh, I love hearing the feedback. Uh, we are going to make, like I said, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to learn through the mistakes, though, and that's what's great about farming in general. Like, um, So, yeah. Let me know in the comment section down below. Please make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.